Yellow Jersey Group now seven minutes behind the leader with Wout van Aert, Pogacar's closest GC rival, distanced on the Col du Pre on another lovely day for a bike ride. Quintana going solo shortly before the summit. And Quintana now kicks and kicks hard. This is a big acceleration. There was a short descent before attacking the Corme de Roslan, giving O'Connor and Higuita the chance to catch up to Quintana. The Australian was now the virtual race leader on the road, some eight and a half minutes clear of the yellow jersey group. Naira Quintana takes the maximum points at the top of the Corma de Rosaland, ahead of Higuita and on the back there, Ben O'Connor. And so onto the longest climb of this year's race, the 21 kilometre haul up to Teen, which would have featured on the tour in 2019, but for some untimely mudslides. We hit the base of the Monte de Teen. Quintana's totally cracked. Here we go, an attack. Here goes Ben O'Connor. The rider from Aji Duzer Citroën gets rid of Sergio Aguita. The Colombians have tried to outwit him and outdo him today, but this rider has having the day of his life. Richard Carapaz now attacks for Ineos Grenadiers. An immediate reaction from Pogaccia. Pogaccia now rips it up the climb. Pogaccia just jumps away. The climb is now Pogaccia's. He goes in the yellow jersey and no one is able to respond. And the best form of defense is to attack. Tornado Taddy has gone clear on the climb to Teen. He has absolutely accelerated flat out to get rid of these riders. Gordou is in trouble now. Ben O'Connor is going to win in Teen. He's coming round the corner. What a climb to Teen. What a stage. Ben O'Connor, debut Tour de France. He wins the stage and he will move up into, I think, second in the Tour de France. Catanio just keeping the pedals turning over into the race finish. A second place on the day for Matteo Catanio of the Coining Quick Step. Pobrelli gets some points. Guillaume Martin crosses the line and moves up in the classification. Tali Pogaccia now heading to the finish of today's stage. Stage number nine, Pogaccia, six minutes and two seconds he loses to Ben O'Connor on the day. Looks like Richard Carapaz is making his way up to take the next place, 6.32. So 30 seconds Pogaccia takes out of his rivals.